What is going on guys, my name is Hans Rogers and today I am giving you 10 tips on how to improve your dancing. I am giving you techniques on just how to do several steps and I'm giving you some tips on how to improve your style and how to create your own style. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned for this video. And my first tip is also like my number one tip that I can possibly give you and that is to carve when you dance and that's really simple thing but it's so important with dancing it's just that when you're doing your dance steps you're not just doing the steps on your board but you're actually doing carves in between them some tips on how to do just that is to loosen up your boards loosen up your trucks it's so important with longboarding you can click the link in the section down below i'll put the link to my 10 longboard tips and then something else is push, putting new bushings in it i also talk about that in that video and then other tips on how to expand your cars and on how to make them look more stylish is just putting your foot on the edge of your boards. So, if you would normally like dance like this, in a straight line, then you won't be making any carves. So what you wanna do is just put your foot on the edge of your boards and like you can see your heel can hang off your, of your boards and then dance like this and you'll make a heel side carve along with the cross step so what you're actually doing is cross step over here now for example you can do a 180 step over here and then just like that you're constantly moving from left to right on your boards it makes dancing look so much more stylish when you do it with carves tip number two is the effect of tilting your feet while you're dancing i'm grabbing my other camera as well so yeah, I'll be showing you what I mean with tilting your foot. It's actually like putting your foot in a small angle on your boards rather than putting it straight forward. And what that allows you to do is make turns with your body easier. What I'm going to do a pirouette in this direction. I already put my foot like at an angle. And then it's way easier to turn around and land the away. So yeah, you can practice it on the ground. You put your foot like this, and then you feel that your leg wants to unwind. And that motion is something you can use to land the away really easy and really stable. Yeah, it's also something you can experiment with while you're trying some tricks or you while you're trying some dance steps. It's just to put your foot in another direction. And then tip number three is to get more speed when you're dancing. Because it's actually, when you think about it, getting more speed is actually a part of learning it and to make something look better. Because at first, the first time you do a dance step, you won't do it with as much speed as you would do it like two years later. So it's something that comes with experience with a trick or experience with a dance step. But it's something that's really important to push yourself to do because it's really easy to just stay at a low speed and just do everything like that but with more speed it would look more it will look more stylish your carves will look more fluently and it just looks more badass when you do something with high speed and even though it's scary because you will you will need some balls to go out and get out of your comfort zone and get more speed when you're doing something you will have to push yourself like each time just just out of comfort zone and just a little bit faster and faster and faster until you can actually do it at high speed and you will kick ass when you do it like that and then moving on to tip number four and that is not to copy someone else you will never ever be the best copycat in the world but you will be the best you could be you will never be the best copycat in the world and that's something that's really important man with dancing too if you try to copy someone else when you when you try to copy someone's motions or the things they do and just every single step they do man you i promise you you won't be as good as he is because he gave it his own thing and he actually worked hard to get that and he worked hard to make it look like that and it's just how his body works and your body will be different as his but that's okay because you can just get inspired by what they do of course you can analyze the tricks he does and if you want that to be able to do that trick too you can do the trick too but give it your own touch and that's that's like 
that's like the main thing that I want to say right now give everything your own touch and do it like you want to do it rather than like doing something like just like someone else does it because he's he's famous or something just for example Lot Filamali a lot of people want to be able to dance like Lot Filamali but they'll never be able to do as just as good as Lot Filamali but you will be able to be like the best version of you you can be and that's by just creating your own style creating your own movements and never let someone else tell you how to do these movements but just do them like you want to do them and maybe at first they will look goofy and they won't look good but if you practice those movements that you came up with they will look stylish too because it's just something that comes with experience with something when you do it a lot it will look stylish i promise you man and you will have your own style and that's something that is really unique in longboard dancing and it's really important too and then tip number five is to listen to music while you're dancing on your longboard and to me that's something that really helps me because when i listen to music i get in the zone and i feel the flow of like the music and that influences my dancing actually the movements you make can be synchronized with the music and that's even more stylish also when you're trying a new video to listen to the song that you're putting on the video because then you you can see like you dance in sync with the, with the music and that's so stylish and also like when you're completely exhausted the music can actually give you energy and it can keep you going while you're completely out of energy and then the next step is just to improvise sometimes and this is something that you can do all the time of course but sometimes when you're constantly doing lines and constantly doing like the tricks that you have in mind you just have to let them go and just dance and have nothing in mind just don't worry about anything else just you on your board doing something that pops in your head right now and a lot of the times you'll create new dance steps or new combinations or new tricks just by doing something randomly and then sometimes you find yourself doing something that you weren't expecting to do and that's really fun because that little thing or that little step that can grow into like something that's completely new for you and that's even completely new for like the whole longboard community so yeah that's really fun to try sometimes and then moving on to tip number seven and that is don't be satisfied with landing a trick or doing a dancing line but constantly keep pushing yourself to do it faster do it higher do it better do it cleaner and you constantly want to get to get pressure on yourself just like to improve your trick or to improve your dance line because it's really easy to just settle with a trick or a dance line because you already did it and you can just check it off this list but for you and for me that's not enough right we want to make it look as good as possible so for example like i said in one of my previous tips we want to try it faster pop it higher land it cleaner whatever it takes to make it look more stylish so yeah that's a really important tip and that's something that i try to do constantly like every time i go out i don't want to just do a trick but i want it to look perfect and i know that i'll never be able to do it perfect but i'll be chasing that and i'll be trying to do that and then tip number eight is don't get too comfortable with a step or a dance line because something i see a lot of people do and i i do the same thing sometimes is just to get comfortable with a step and then do that step over and over and over again when we go out and skate for example i had a period when i would always do like the same combination of steps when i head out um, but then i wasn't actually learning something new and i was just doing the same thing over and over again so i thought it was becoming boring and it was becoming monotone and i wasn't turning something new so i had to constantly remind myself of stop doing that and do something else try something new and like that you can make your dancing look more diverse and it will look better when you do all kinds of crazy combinations etc because the first time someone sees that combination they will find it really cool but when you do it over and over and over again then they'll just get used to that and they'll want to see something new too so try to avoid doing that and then tip number nine is that you can't force style because style is something that we all want to have and we all want to create that but if you're chasing it if you actually really want to have it then you'll probably find yourself doing something because you think someone else did it and you think it looks good 
when he did it. Style is just something that comes over time when you do things that feel good to you then style will come automatically because you do it repeatedly and you get comfortable with doing it like for example a dancing step. When you get comfortable with it then you'll be able to do like minor movements different than when you did it the first time you will look more comfortable and that's that on its own is already stylish like doing it with comfort and doing it just with self-confidence and that will make it look more stylish and then my final advice is just to be yourself be creative don't let anyone tell you what to do not even me with this video so just go out it's all about having fun go out right now go longboards go have fun go dancing do something new, try something crazy just because you feel like it. And then I'm ending this video with that thought in mind. Subscribe for more weekly longboard videos. Hit like if this helped you out, if you like this. I'll see you in a future video. Ciao!